Nehemiah, Trust in the Saving Power of Jehovah, starring James T. Kirk as Nehemiah, Spock as Sanballat, Dr. McCoy as Tobiah, Scotty as Geesham, Bobblehead Sheldon as Shemiah, Ahura as Noadiah, and a random Klingon starring as King Artaxerxes. The month of Kislev in the 20th year, and Nehemiah gets a report from his brother Hanani about the Jews who returned to Jerusalem. Hanani tells Nehemiah that the people are in a terrible situation and in disgrace, and that the walls of Jerusalem are broken down and its gates have been burned with fire. Upon hearing this report, Nehemiah weeps and mourns for days, fasting and praying to Jehovah. Help! Hear my prayer, prayer and the prayer of your servants. I plead God's success to your servant today, and may this land show me compassion. Nehemiah was King Artaxerxes' cupbearer. A few months had passed, and now it is the month of Nisan in the twentieth year. King Artaxerxes wanted wine. I want wine. And it was Nehemiah's job to take the wine and bring it to the king. But on this day, Nehemiah was very sad as he brought the wine to the king. Why do you look so gloomy when you are not sick? This can be nothing but gloominess at heart. Don't look the king. Why should I not look gloomy when the city, the place where my former fathers are buried, lies in ruins, and its gates have been consumed by fire? What is that you are seeking? Nehemiah said a silent prayer to Jehovah. And then said, let, let me go to Jerusalem so that I may rebuild the walls. You may go. I will give you letters for safe passage, and I will get you wood for doing some of the building. Thank you, Jehovah. When Nehemiah arrived, he at once inspected the walls and gates of Jerusalem, and he said to the Jews, the priests, and the workers, Jerusalem lies in ruins, and its gates have been burn with fire let us come let us rebuild the walls of jerusalem jehovah is with us let's let's do it. It. i was waiting now when sembalat tobiah and geshem three opposers heard about it they were not happy that something good was happening to the israelites and they began to make fun of them what are you doing so you think you're gonna be rebelling against the king do you Jehovah will grant us success, and, and we will get up and build. All the Israelites got right to work, building and repairing the walls of Jerusalem in an organized manner. Look, see, what are the feeble Jews doing? Are they doing this by themselves? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they finish up in a day? Even if a fox would climb up on what they are building, it would knock down their stone wall. Oh, oh, hear, oh, our God, for, for we are being treated with contempt and make their uh, reproach return on their own hands. Despite this opposition, the entire wall was joined together and rebuilt up to half its height, and the people continued to put their heart into the work. So Balat, Tobiah, and Gisha became very angry, and they made a plan to come and fight the Israelites. Before they know it or see us, we will come right in among them and kill them and stop the work. The people start to grow weak, and so Nehemiah made a plan. I will post guards and give each worker a phaser, oops, I mean sword, so they can rip with one hand and fight with the other. Do not be afraid of them. Remember, Jehovah, who is great and awe-inspiring. And fight for your brothers, your sons, and daughters, your wives, and hands. Our God will fight for us! And the people kept working. 
a bad thing was happening among the Jews. The nobles and the deputy rulers were taking advantage of the people and charging them a lot of money for food. So Nehemiah says to them, We just came out of slavery, and now you are sending your own brothers back into slavery. Please give them that, their fields, vineyards, their houses, and grain. We will do precisely as you say. Amen! Amen. Praise Jehovah! The wall was rebuilt. Only the doors and gates needed to be set up. Nehemiah's enemies were planning to harm him, so they sent him four invitations. Now this was done through letters, but for the sake of this drama, it will be as if they were face to face. Come, and let us set up a time to meet together in the villages of the Valley Plain of Ono. And four times this was Nehemiah's reply. I am busy in a great work, and I am not able to go down. Why should, I, why should the work stop? Why leave it and to come to you? There was a prophetess named Noadiah, and she too was trying to frighten Nehemiah. They will certainly kill you if you do not meet up with them. I think you should go. Next, Sanballat started to spread a lie about Nehemiah. Among the nations it's been hoy that Gishon is also saying it, see? That you, the Jews, are scheming to rebel. That is why you're building the wall and you're going to be the king. We're going to tell the king on you unless you meet with us. It is true, Nehemiah. You want to be the king, don't you? Not all of this is true. You are making them out of your own imagination. You are just trying to scare me. Then the enemies used a traitor the Israelite prophet Shemaiah, to try to make Nehemiah break God's law. Let us meet at the house of the true God within the temple, because they are coming to kill you. We will close the doors of the temple and you will be safe. Yes, Nehemiah, go to the temple and be safe. You are not a true prophet. Should a man like me run away? I will not try to save my life by breaking Jehovah's law. The priest is the only one who can enter into the temple, and I am not a priest. I shall not enter. The wall was completed on the 25th day of Elul, in 52 days. The whole time, Nehemiah stayed faithful and trusted in the saving power of Jehovah God. <laughs>